So I've been wanting to tie up a few loose ends and finish off some of the projects that I started a few years ago. So I decided to start off with my eye mechanisms and I have designed three eye mechanisms. There's a really simplified basic one with a minimum of parts so that everything's really easy to source and pretty much anyone with a 3D printer could make that one. I've made a more advanced eye mechanism which imitates a more sort of professional design but it doesn't require any sort of machining or anything like that and then finally I've made a really robust machined mechanism mostly as a way for me to explore some different sort of manufacturing methods but all of these designs are going to be freely available um, and the sort of common theme with them is that they're intended to be accessible, reasonably cheap, and certain features between them are universal. So one interesting feature is the eyes, which are designed with a sort of universal fitting so that they can be used across any of the different mechanisms. And then the tools used to cast and paint the eyes are also the same. Um, it's just a really simple snap fit. Um, that can be easily 3D printed and used to make multiple eyes. There's also a controller that's usable with all of the different eye mechanisms. So the first video that I'm going to put out is going to be how to make the eyes. It'll be good to have that out first so that anyone making the eye mechanisms can refer back to that video and not have to um, hold off on building the mechanisms until that comes out. I'm also aware that a lot of people have come to this channel through my bionic hand videos and they're maybe not so interested in something that involves sort of painting and whatnot. Um, so that one will get out of the way and then we'll go on to the simplified eye mechanism, the more advanced eye mechanism, the controller and finally the machine eye mechanism. Also you might notice that I've started using this logo. The reason is that I've actually seen a few examples online where um, people have put out um, specifically free uh, 3D printed eye mechanism projects and they've had those designs used without credit or kind of sold on. So I really do want my designs to be free and I want people to be able to use them in whatever projects they have whether it's like a, a film or some kind of exhibition or anything like that. I really want people to be able to use them for free but I am aware that this could be abused and by creating a sort of image and a brand around my designs I can have my designs go out for free, but anyone looking at the actual the mechanisms, they're going to know the source. I'm also aware that it's not very difficult to just scrub off a logo from a STL file, but there's nothing I can really do about that. So with this, I've launched a website for me to store all of my designs, just serve as a sort of hub to put everything together under the name Nilheim Mechatronics. It's a good, strong sounding name. So there's a link in the description to that if you want to check that out. So I'm going to start by putting out a video every two weeks, which I accept is a relatively long time. I would like to get that down to one week, but um, developing all these eye mechanisms has taken a really long time, so I need to make sure I leave myself some time to be able to work on the next project. Speaking of future projects, I would just like to quickly go over the projects that I intend to finish or not. So first of all, the candlelight drone. Sorry to disappoint, but I've I've lost all interest in completing that project. It's just not something I have any interest in now. So I'll leave those up because I think there's still interesting sort of lessons. But I will not be finishing that project, unfortunately. Um, the 3D printed hexapod. This is something that I did actually finish, and I had all the videos, but I just was so dissatisfied with the final result that I didn't want to put it out. But I am still really into the idea of that project, so that's something that I'll be coming back to at some point but it'll be completely started from scratch because I really I really hated that design. It looked pretty cool, but there was like absolutely no engineering went into it. The animatronic heart, definitely doing that and it's coming out soon. The bionic hand, I know that's probably what a lot of people are wondering about. So I did finish that part two video, which was talking more about the sort of issues that I was facing and how I was gonna fix them. But then the more I thought about it, the more I realized that the design is kind of fundamentally flawed for what I want from it. Um, the whole idea of it was to be a biomimetic hand and I was sort of, I was thinking to myself, oh I can solve some problems by having more sort of little motors integrated. You know, I, I think my design was starting to go more towards a sort of conventional robot hand and that's really not what I'm interested in. I think I was just kind of going that direction to sort of have a working design. But what I really want is to design something that is truly biomimetic. I want to make the best 
biomimetic hand that exists and, and I fully intend to do that. So I am going to be working on that but it's going to be at a pace that I need to work at in order to make the best product that I can which means that there might not be particularly frequent updates. It's something that I started about four years ago and it's been in my mind ever since so I don't think I can ever fully abandon it but when I go back into that project I really want to start looking at, at like artificial muscles and like joint capsules and, and I want to go deep into the real anatomy of real hands and try and get something that is really closely related because because what I realise is that I need to choose either a functional robot hand or a fully biomimetic hand and I can't really justify being somewhere in between I need to commit to one or the other and my heart's pretty set on biomimicry jet engine project um, I'm sure it's a big surprise for you to hear this but I'm not going to be finishing that project all right so I hope you're excited about the new videos that I'm going to be bringing out I'm very excited so I hope that you'll subscribe uh, if you're not already and the next video will be out in two weeks and that will be the eye casting video so I hope to see you then